Hi everyone, it's me Wei Chang here. Um, today I'm feeling very under the weather. I had to go see a doctor for a throat infection. Um, advice to all students out there: drink lots of water, take your fruits, eat your vegetables, stay healthy, get sufficient sleep, because uh, the exams are coming. Do, don't want to be falling sick at this point in time where your teachers are doing a lot of revision work with you in school. Okay, so please do take care of your health. And here we go. Today we're going to do a topic, a question related to from the topic of uh, fractions. So let's get started. Can you bake some cookies to sell? Three fifths of them were chocolates, and the remaining were butter cookies. He sold five six of the chocolate cookies and another two hundred twenty butter cookies. He had one quarter of the cookies left. So how many cookies did he sell? Okay, let's straightforward. We start by drawing a model. We, when we start by set, drawing a model with five parts, because three fifths of them were chocolate cookies. So I'm not going to be very stingy. I shall draw a big one here. Okay. And here we go. Five parts. So we go one, two, three, four, and five. So three fifths of them were chocolate cookies. So here will be uh, chocolate cookies and eh, sorry, here, and this one here would be butter cookies. Okay. Now he sold five six of the chocolate cookies. How are we going to get five six? Well, there are three parts. We cut them further. So we have five six one, two three four five six. But if we do this to the chocolates, we must do the same for the butters. Then, here another 220 chocolate butter cookies, he had one quarter of the cookies left. Now this is the part whereby a lot of students get stuck. One quarter of the cookies, one quarter of 10 units, you're going to get a 0.5. Okay, so what's the next best thing to do? Now we have 10 units, okay, this is where the uh, concept of equivalent fraction comes in. So the students should be able to see that if I were to cut into further parts, further half each individual part, okay, and now I have 20 units instead of just 10 or 5, okay, so now I can do one quarter of the cookies left, okay, one quarter of the cookies, one quarter of 20 units would therefore give me 5 units. So, of these 5 units, 2 units were already taken up by the chocolate cookies because it's already left. So that leaves 1, 2, 3 that are left for butter. And so this would mean the rest here are sold. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So 5 units were the 220 butter cookies that were sold. 1 unit would therefore be 44. And how many cookies did he sell? Well, uh, you can either count the number of units if you want to. If not, you can always do by this. 10, 10 units sold for this one will be 440. And then 440 plus 220, you get 660. And that's it. 660 cookies were sold. A very simple question. Um, and remember, it's revision time. We'll go start to flip through all the worksheets that you have done with your child and um, revise old concepts, basics, and how to apply basics in difficult situations. Alright, in the meantime, take care and uh, have a great evening ahead. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.